Have you ever heard of Ibaraki Prefecture? For most, probably not. It is not surprising since according to this survey, Ibaraki is the least attractive prefecture out of all 47 prefectures in Japan. For 7 straight years, it is in the last place and it became a joke that even though it ramped up to 42nd last year, some residents are disappointed about it. A resident from Mito Ibaraki said about the Ramco, Ibaraki was famous for ranking last. 42nd place feels incomplete, 47th place is better. And another one from Naka Ibaraki said, Our appeal as the least attractive prefecture is gone due to a rising rock. This made me sad since I live here, and contrary to the survey result, I love it here. There are plenty of places worth visiting in Ibaraki prefecture and here are 10 of them. So let's go! I visited Kashima Jingu just last November and it was a quiet and solemn temple surrounded by a forest. It is a shrine dedicated for martial arts and it is one of the three grand shrines in Japan. It has a massive Tori gate and a beautiful vermilion Roman gate. There are more to see here besides the main temple. The forest is mostly cedar trees and within is the deer enclosure. Further along is the treasure house where the longest streets are in Japan's display. There is also the Kanamisha sacred stone and the Mitarashi pan, a cleansing pool. Number 2 is the Ushiku Daibutsu. Standing at 120 meters tall, it is the tallest statue in Japan and fourth in the world. It is made of bronze and depicts Amitabha Buddha. Inside the statue itself is a four-story building and serves as a museum. For comparison, here it is beside Christ, the Redeemer of Brazil, and the Statue of Liberty of USA. Right in front of the Buddha, there is an incense burner, which is one of the largest in Japan. Once inside the Buddha, it's a whole new world. The most amazing sight is the 3000 Golden Buddha. It is simply gorgeous and commemorate the people who have passed on to the next world. The Buddha is surrounded by a garden filled with variety of flowers and pond where you can feed koi fishes and ducks. The Tsuchi Ura All Japan Fireworks Competition is one of Japan's three major firework tournaments in Japan. It is held every October in Sakuragawa River in the small town of Tsuchi Ura. Tsuchi Ura Fireworks Competition is an underrated annual spectacle that is not well known by tourists. I have been going to this fireworks event for many years and I still love it. You can see a lot of different kinds of fireworks during the 3 hour competition. Behind me is Mount Tsukuba, a mountain with two peaks, Mount Nantai and Mount Nyatai. It is a much easier, relaxing, and less crowded alternative to the popular Mount Fuji. And unlike Mount Fuji, Mount Tsukuba is not an active volcano, making the entire mountain lush with vegetation. Just last autumn, I climbed this mountain. Starting from the shrine at the foot of the mountain, well, the hike is just around 90 minutes, so it is suitable for beginners like me. There is also an option to use the cable car or ropeway if you don't have enough time. A 
at your peak, you will have a great view of the Great Khan Top Plains. The town of Awarai is famous for its beach, but further along its rugged coastline is the Awarai Isasaki Shrine. This shrine has a total of three Tori gates situated in different locations. But the most famous one by far is called Kamiso no Tori, meaning Gate of the Seashore God. This shrine gate stands dramatically on rocks and attracts photographers from around the world. And since this shrine is facing the Pacific Ocean, it is a popular spot for watching sunrise. It is considered as the third most beautiful waterfall in Japan after Kagan Falls of Tachigi and Nachi Falls of Wakayama. The path to Fukurada Falls is through a tunnel and have three different viewing decks. The falls are particularly beautiful during the autumn and the surrounding mountains are transformed by the fiery reds and oranges of the autumn foliage. While well, during the winter, the falls freeze over in a stunning icy spectacle. There is also a wooden suspension bridge that is great for taking photos. Facing the Pacific Ocean in the city of Itachinaka, Hitachi Seaside Park offers beautiful flowers in large gardens throughout the year. In spring, narcissuses, tulips, and nemophila attract lots of visitors. And in autumn, the green coquilla turns scarlet red. This massive park includes an athletic grounds, barbecue zone, cycling cars, and an amusement park which features a ferris wheel. Below me is the Ryujin Lake, and 100 meters above it is the Ryujin Suspension Bridge. Spanning at 375 meters, it is the longest pedestrian suspension bridge in Japan. And if you are a thrill seeker, this bridge also offers the highest bungee jump in Japan. Although the bridge itself is impressive, it serves no clear purpose other than to view the gorge below and the mountains of Ibaraki. The other side of the bridge leads to a hiking trail. This world-class aquarium is home to over 580 species of marine life including penguins, dolphins, sharks, sandfish, and sea lions. In fact, Aqua World houses the greatest number of species of shark in Japan and is renowned for its successful shark baiting program. The dolphin and sea lion shows are the biggest draw for many visitors to the aquarium. With so much to see, it's easy to spend the whole day at the aquarium. Ramp among Japan's three finest landscape garden, Kairakuen is famous for its over 3,000 plum trees. This garden is located in Mito, the capital of Ibaraki Prefecture. While worth a visit throughout the year, Kairakuen is particularly popular during the plum blossom season which usually takes place from late February to March. Located next to the park is stands Tokiwa Shrine which was founded in 1874. Sal and join me again next time.
as we go see Japan.